Hello all, welcome to the session of Blender. In today's session, we are going to see how do we create the objects in 2D, that is to see about in 2D animation and then see how can we work on time frame to move this object from one place to another. So before starting with the animation, let's get familiar with the screen so that we know what exactly do we have in 2D animation screen of Blender. In this screen, if you see, there are various kinds of modes which we select. So we have object mode, we have edit mode, we have sculpt mode, we have draw mode. So basically when we have to draw the object, we move on to draw mode. And then if you want to work with the object or translate the object from one place to another or from one point to another, we work with this edit mode over here. Here we have different options for uh, creating the object. We have the line, we have this polyline, we have this arc, and then circle, the rectangle, we have brushes. So all those shortcuts are available over here to work with. On the other side, we have this as the outliner as we have in normal blender. So we have this outliner where we have camera, where we have the stroke. So because basically the by default stroke is selected, we're working with stroke. Over here in the properties panel, we have various kind of options for the property. So we have here the colors, so we can select the colors, we can select the colors from the palette as well. So this is what we can do. We have this timeline, so we can move the objects from one place to another, whatever operations so animations we have to do, we can work with this timeline over here. So since stroke is selected, let's make uh, 24, in today's session we are going to make a stick man and then try to move this stick man from one place to another. So to start off with this thing, let's select the color first so we can have a stroke and create a stick man. So for selecting, I've selected my vertex and I've taken the color as my blue color. Here the radius or thickness of this uh, stroke, I'm taking it to 100 and then the strength, I am taking it to 1, the maximum strength. So let's draw a line first. So this is my line which is there. Let's make it a perfect line. I've selected my line. So this is my line which is there. Yeah. So now my line is created. Now let's try to modify this line into a proper kind of shape to look like the uh, stick man. So for doing this, I will go to my edit mode. So once I'm there in my edit mode, I will select the points. So now I will see how many points do I have. So I have so many points over here. From this, I'm going to delete some points because I require only few points to work with this and to work with the stick man. So I will select some points, go for point option and then or I can directly select uh, delete. So in delete, I can dissolve this. So now when I select my object, I can see only few points. So now to transform this into a kind of a stick man, we will select one point. So as you know, when I left click, my point is selected. I will press G and take it wherever I want. Then I will take another point. Then again G, I can take it wherever I want. So I'm just trying to make it look like a perfect stick man. So with my G option, I'm trying to move it properly. I will select my center point and extrude it downward. So this is my E. When I select E, it extrudes downward. I'll stop here. Again, select E for making its leg. Again, I will select this point E to extrude outside. Again, E to take it below. Let's make the head of this stick man. So for making it head, I will go back to my draw mode. In draw mode, I'm going to select circle. So here I'm going to make this circle structure. Let's make the neck of this stick man. So for making the neck, I will go to my edit mode. I'm going to select my head and then shift and then select my the other point. And then I will go for my point and then in point I'm going to merge points. Okay, so this is how it is going about. Let's do control Z. So again, I'll select point and then merge points. So when moment selected two points, this got merged. So this is how my stick man is looking. As you can see it in the object. 
So when I want to see this in 3D view, I can just rotate it and see how does it looks like in my 3D view. So now let's try to give some kind of operation to this sigma. So I'll move on to my timeline. I will go to 20 as my timeline first and then try to move the object. So I will select the points and just say G. Whichever points I want, I'll try to move the points. As you can see, I can see my previous trace of my object. So this is how I've transformed my object from one place to another at this place. So now let me just Try to have if I just go for my previous one and then move on like this, then I can see a sudden transform. So let's try to make it a smooth transform. So making it smooth, I will go to my interpolate over here and then select this as sequence. So once I select this as sequence, you can see this. It is moving from my normal to my proper this. Let me add one more. So I will go to 40 now. At 40, I'm going to again translate this object. So when I translate this, I will select G and make it wherever I want. So let's see and again I will take up, go to interpolate and then make it a sequence. So now if you can see this smooth texture which is there as my object. So this is how my object looks like. It's like a dancing kind of stick man which is there when I've created in my timeline. So now to make it the animation or let me see in the camera view. This is how it looks like my animation. So this is how I created into 2D animation the object that is the stickman. So for rendering it, I will go to the normal procedure as I have in my normal blender. So I will go to my output properties. I will go and select this as my FFmpeg. Then go for encoding and then select my MPEG4. And then rest will remain as it is and then I will finally go to render. And then finally when I click on render animation, my object will get rendered and this is how the object will look like with the proper kind of translation. Thank you.